Okay, so before you uh, start uh, trying to connect up your tablet to uh, download the stuff to, from uh, Android Studios, you should make sure that you have enabled the USB debugging and enabled uh, your, your tablet so that it can um, uh, download uh, programs and applications from external sources. And uh, if you haven't done this, I have a video. You can click on the link to go to that. And you need to do that first before you can connect your tablet up and do this. Hello, this is Dr. James. And today <coughs> we're going to uh, show you how to uh, install or uh, take, take your uh, Java applications written in uh, Android Studio and install them onto a laptop or uh, your tablets, your Android tablets. And uh, in order to do that, you have to uh, load up Android Studios. And uh, Android Studios can't be loaded up with a normal icon. You have to actually go to um, the terminal and get a new terminal window. You're going to have to type some stuff into the command, command line. So here we'll start with, uh, we're, at the, we're at the local directory. Now I know that the uh, program actually decides, resides near the top. So we're going to have to go cd dot dot. I'm just going to take us up a directory, cd dot dot ls. Okay, so we're at the top directory now. Now uh, the uh, Android Studio application is in a folder called opt. So we'll go cd, so change directory into opt list. Okay, so now we have uh, a folder there called Android Studio. So we're going to CD into that. And since I like to save a little bit of time, I'm going to just say CD and star. Star is a wild card and it fills out the rest. As long as there's no other things that uh, start with uh, A and D, it will fill out the rest of it and change you into that directory without having to type everything. List, LS. Okay, now the, the uh, program's under bin for binary. So we'll CD into binary and there's our program studio.sh. Now normally uh, Linux applications require that you uh, have some kind of list that tells the pro uh, computer where, where it can run executables. Now this is not in the normal folder where you'd run executables but you can force it to run from here even though it's not in that list by uh, using the command dot star or a dot slash. So we'll go dot slash and we'll type out the name studio dot sh. Okay? And so when we do that, hit return, it will start to load up our Android Studio. Okay, so now we have the uh, Android Studio's loading screen up. And we will uh, just wait for a little bit until it loads. Okay, so Android is a great device that uh, write applications for. It can, you know, it has a uh, touch screen, it has uh, uh, audio output, audio input, uh, wireless communications, Wi Fi, wireless communications to your cell phone tower. Some of them have near field communications. It's an amazing device that's underutilized and it needs lots of people to write programs for it. And uh, Java is a great language because Java is uh, independent of the platform. You can write it just a single program and, the, uh, and it, it doesn't go on just one device. You can put it on many different devices. Right? And so here is uh, Android Studios here and uh, we're going to load up a program. So, we will uh, actually load up a recent one that I have uh, been working on. This is a uh, Hello World 2, and yeah, we'll, we'll just put it in this window. Okay, it's loading up, and uh, this program has a lot of d different things on here. This is the the uh, part where the main program is. 
and uh, this is the debugging area. It tells you what the tablet's thinking while you're, while you're sticking stuff onto it. And then there's a bunch of other windows where you can navigate around the different parts of the, <coughs> the uh, program and, and see what the window would look like in an emulator or other things. And uh, we'll make sure our tablet is turned on here. And we will maybe do some recording here too. Okay, in order to allow your computer to access your phone, you have to, the, the screen will come up, and the computer, it's an RSA key, fingerprint, blah, blah, blah. And so you have to give the uh, tablet the authorization, yes, it's okay to talk to this computer. So you click OK, and then you should be all set to start downloading things onto your tablet. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to uh, allow the, uh, the the Android track phone or the tablet to install from unknown devices. We're going to go into Applications, uh, Settings, and then we'll go down to Security, and uh, there it is, Unknown Sources. It's already checked. We'll uncheck it and check it so you can see a uh, phone and personal data are vulnerable to attacks from unknown sources blah blah I agree okay and so that's how you you uh, set it up so you can install applications from your uh, uh, Android studio projects or uh, other other uh, sources that you may want to put in like uh, if you want to uh, root your phone or, or your tablet then you need to have that because that's not an application you can get from the uh, normal uh, application sites they don't they don't like that type of thing so that's how you do it okay and we'll get back out of here okay so in order to uh, put this program here onto our our Android track phone tablet we're going to hit the uh, run key and what that does is it will uh, uh, give you a list of here we have an emulator here but okay now this came up so unauthorized press OK to allow USB debugging okay so we're gonna press OK to connect to the device okay so that that device at the top was our Android track phone hooked up to the USB and so now it is getting ready to uh, process this program and convert it into something that that, uh, that track phone wants to see and then it's going to send it through the USB onto the, uh, the track phone it will start the program running so we can check it out and then it will also save a little icon with it will say hello world and um, <coughs> then you can run that icon the next time you're on the phone if you start going through the applications oh there's my there's my program here click on it and then you can you can run this program okay so this takes a little while okay here we go it's installing the application on the device Okay, and now it looks like it installed successfully. So we're going to put it on our Kali Linux. And I've been testing it on that one. So what we'll do is we've hooked up our Kali Linux to the USB. And we will uh, click Run. Okay, and we'll choose the Asus Nexus Android tablet and here it's chugging away
cradle building build running. Okay, scanning files to index. Okay, we're getting close now. It's starting to build the bar across the bottom. And here we are. We have our Kelly Linux there. Okay, it's installing APK, APK the application. There it goes. Okay, and this is a simple little calculator thing where you can input numbers and uh, has a little calculate button so you can do stuff. Okay, input one number, input another number, and then calculate it, and it will tell you the answer. Okay. Uh, so I took our, our uh, program from, uh, from the computer, the Java program, and it effectively installed it on our little tablet. Now we can unplug it, take the tablet with us, and uh, if you go down to Applications, okay, let's take a look here. You can see that it installed an icon. Okay, we can see that it installed an icon. It says Hello World 2. And so now we can just click on that and run our application anytime that we want. And uh, we can have our little calculator program or whatever program you'd like to like to put on your uh, portable device.